It's a classic. The Who's Tommy on Broadway, just one of several Tony-nominated shows featuring performers from right here in Massachusetts. Now, these men and women spent years working with local theater and dance companies and in comedy clubs. And this past season, they had the chance to put their talents in the spotlight on the Great White Way. This is an historic season um, on Broadway, and it is so awesome to be a part of it. John Ambrosino is living out his theater dreams as Uncle Ernie in the cast of Tommy. The Avon native traveled a long road to make it to Broadway. I would literally get up in the morning and leave on the you know 5 a.m. train from South Station, arrive in New York and go directly to an open call or a couple of open calls. Growing up in Millbury, Dee Tomasetta always knew what she wanted to do. I started dancing when I was two and a half years old at a local uh, dance school, Joy and Warren in Worcester, and I fell in love with dancing. She's had Tommy in her blood since she was a little girl. I was a competitive dancer, and I did a solo to Pinball Wizard when I was like seven years old. Young girl, I played the silver ball from so down the Tomasetta is part of the show's creative team and cast, working as associate choreographer, dance captain, and swing. This whole experience, the journey from that then to now Broadway to now being nominated for Best Revival is truly remarkable. Actor Nail Nasser started his road to Broadway right here in Boston. It's kind of one of those stories uh, that you hear about where somebody just happens to be at the right place at the right time. First cast as an understudy in the Huntington Theater's production of Prayer for the French Republic. Nasser took over the role of Charles, and when the play moved to Broadway, he moved with it. For me, one of the big differences between the production in Boston, which I loved, and the production production on Broadway is that I got to rehearse <laughs> in New York. I was part of the process from the beginning. And my grandfather saw me reaching, and he said, you can't have that, David. We're Jewish. And I said, what does that mean? And with a totally straight face, he just said, it means you'll never be happy. For the awards, comedian Alex Edelman took home a special Tony for his show, Just For Us. I was blown away. You never expect anything like that to happen. And how special to be able to go to the Tonys knowing that, you know, um, you're going to leave with one. This is really, really cool. The Brookline man says the experience of working on Broadway will always stay with him. The best part of it is getting to be part of this community of, of people that I didn't know before. On Broadway, everybody works on campus, essentially. It's like going to a college where everybody, you know, you meet alumni, you meet legends, you meet people who are coming for the first time. You meet, I'm a, and as a freshman coming into this, what a special thing to be sort of, you know, not to stretch my horrible analogy too much, but to be sort of make the dean's list or something like that. All of these performers hope their success on Broadway will inspire. There's no one one true path, but the most important thing is to continue, to keep going. Be yourself, get out there, and don't be frightened. When I was younger, I remember there was this one person I knew that was in Wicked when I was like five years old. And I was like, wow, like they, they're from Massachusetts, like they're on Broadway, like it gives me hope that I can do it someday. So while prayer for the French Republic closed in March, you can still catch Tommy at the Nederlander Theater in New York City. And Alex Edelman's Just For Us is streaming on Max.